My name is James Basante. I'm a third year medical student at UNM School of Medicine. So we're getting ready right now to march to the Blue Cross Blue Shield Tower, um, a shining glass institution dedicated to denying care, um, which myself and other healthcare providers want desperately to provide our patients. There's always an insurance company in between them and their patients preventing them from providing ideal care. And we don't want to work in a system that is like that. And so as medical students, we're trying to change the system now because we're the ones with the most energy and dynamism. Um, and we're the ones that can really make this possible um, for the system that we want to work in. This system, let's stop it. Our health is not for profit. This system, let's stop it. Our health is not for profit. something that has health care for all and that's what we're that's what we're doing today. It's always wonderful to be able to participate with students because even though you know people feel very appreciative of your coming, I think it goes both ways. I'm appreciative of being inspired by seeing a lot of the activity that they're involved with. Um, and the energy that uh, drives them, uh, and a real commitment that I sense for equality and creating equal access to health care. Our current system is broken and I think that I'm going to be practicing hopefully for a long time and I want a system that sustains me and sustains my patients. So why do medical students want single payer? Because we are fed up with established medicine, lying politicians and profit motivated health care. We want real reform and we will not settle for continued privatization and commercialization of medicine. We believe health care is a human right. They want me to treat my ba patients based on their insurance status. And I want to treat based on what they need. What they deserve. Because they're human. But companies like Blue Cross Blue Shield wants to put my patients, your family members, in narrow networks. They want to tell them what doctors they can see, what clinics they can go to. And not only that, when they step out of line, they're going to hit them with a bill. And I'm not talking no small bill. I'm talking about the break the bank. 78% of bankruptcies in America are secondary to medically incurred debt. That is disgusting. So I'm really excited to see so many people came out here today for a protest like this. Because it's protests like this that actually get things done. It's events like this that get people talking, that get attention, that get people nationwide understanding what's going on with healthcare in this country. Dear insurance companies, we stand here today not with lamentations. We've heard the cries of the uninsured and desire to hear them no more. These are the same cries that have fallen on your deaf ears for years, yet they speak to us, continuously pushing us forward like cheers. This is a proclamation for the past, present, and future leaders you've seen gathered before. This time we've come yelling at your door. Flanked by veteran single pair soldiers like Greek warriors with passion in their eyes. Nothing could come in their way, they chanted. All America should be where insurance companies just don't care. All America should be where insurance companies just don't care. All America should be where insurance companies just don't care. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Yeah.